You want to say something? You want to say something to the vlog? In English, Justin Bieber? <laughs> <laughs> that here in Bali, and I'm not 100% sure of these numbers, but I believe there was only 7,000 people who were here, expats, tourists, who were here in 2020, because everyone kind of went home and the island was pretty empty. So if you're one of the people here, at year 2020, there's only 7,000 people here during that time. A small elite number out of the entire world, and of the millions of people who come to the island every single year. And I just found that fact out, I thought that fact was pretty cool. Um, but on that note, we're here in Changu. Uh, I'm gonna give you guys a walkthrough of kind of what it's like um, well here in the mornings but everything everything you carry when you're here usually goes on your scooter so when it's moving day when you're changing place everything is done on the scooter you just find a way with the scooter I find that that is like the the Indonesian the Balinese way it doesn't matter you have a bike <laughs> you have food you just find a way to do it find a way to fit it on your scooter and on that note, with the water, one of the most uh, common questions I get a lot is, Luke, what about the water? What about the drinking water? Drinking water is so easy to find when you're here. Super easy. The one thing I recommend to get is to get the Balian water. So this big thing of water, which is I think 20 liters, it initially costs about $4 for it. But you gotta take the empty bottle back to them. And when you take the empty bottle back to them, it only costs you about like a 10th of that price. So it's one thing to keep in mind because what happens is you'll spend a lot of money. Whoa. I don't know. Welcome to driving in Bali. <laughs> um, the, what happens is, I'll explain it in a second. Okay, so just arriving to the office now. And the cool thing about filling those water bottles up, if you just buy a normal water bottle, and I know a lot of you guys don't like plastic, but a lot of times you have no choice when you're thirsty. One of these will cost you about seven or 8,000 for 1.5 liters. This Balian right here is about 19 liters. It'll cost you about 15,000, I think it's 29,000 rupiah, which is about $2 to go and fill that entire thing up if you take back the jug. Little hack for you guys when you come here. But now, I'm off to a quick breakfast, gym, and then to officially start the day. Okay, so it's a little bit later in the day and you'll realize when you come here to Bali or if you're here, there's always that middle part in the day when it's like too hot to be outside, but you're like a little bit too tired to go to a public place, but at the same time, you still have a lot of work to be done. That's the space that I'm in at this moment. So we're gonna go for a little ride, find a nice little quiet, chill place to, uh, aw, <laughs> to uh, get some work done. And I know a lot of you guys love the rides here in Bali. and scooters go across the shortcut.
just a stop. Everyone asked where I got a lot of the tattoos from. A lot of them in this place right here. No, they can see the tattoo, right? No, they can't no. see the tattoo. Oh, okay. yeah, cool. You too, brother. See you, man. So a quick stop off there. If you guys know, Exclusive Ink is just right over the shortcut. Turn right, and it's right here. But now, back to what we were doing. Off on the road. Got, got some cool, cool tattoo ideas. Gonna run them by you a little bit later. So it's almost like, it's like the true struggle in Changu. The real struggle with Changu isn't seeing if there is a place where you can work or a place where you can chill. It's deciding which one you want to choose because there's so many places to choose from, so many places that you can work from, so many places that have great coffee, healthy drinks. So the problem, and the, it's not even a problem, but you have too many options. That's what the problem becomes. So I guess there's a good problem. Having too many options, then you don't know which one to do. Um, but we're gonna find something and find a nice, healthy juice place with AC. things to see that happens usually every day here. I say sometimes because sometimes the sunset is crazy amazing and sometimes it's just super chill, low tide. one of those kind of days got a lot done super chill and where most people finish the days at is on the beach if you ever can try and time your day so that it finishes on the beach around the beach somewhere where you can see the sunset or at least have your feet in nature and on that note to everyone that I met on the beach today everyone Dave uh, I can't remember everyone's name Amina 
uh, all of you guys who I've met on the beach today. Thank you so much for coming up and say hello. Everyone else who watches, thank you for being here. Thank you guys for keeping me fueled and energized. You guys who contribute to support me, support my channel, support my mission, support what it is that I do, which also goes to help so many other people. Thank you, thank you. It goes so much further than you can ever believe. Thank you again, and I'll speak to all of you guys tomorrow. And in the meantime, everyone always remember to work hard, be brave, and don't forget to smile. Ciao.